Yes, it's tough times over this period, but there were some change of dynamics in this period from about 2011 uh, to, to the present. Is that we saw um, what I'm calling is the demise of the big contractor, right? We saw because of the collusion in the World Cup stadiums, uh, increased transformation, we saw quite a big increase in smaller and medium-sized contractors taking up the work that the, that the bigger contractors once were taking. Um, this is because government was breaking up those big projects into smaller pieces um, and other reasons. Smaller construction enterprises were taking a bigger percentage of the overall construction pie. You can see they basically replaced the large contractors from a 60% contribution in 2012 to roughly a 40, 45% contribution. They lost about 15% market share in total. Whereas the medium guys, they stayed roughly the same. I mean, this is just a sample. Some of the other data shows the medium guys taking up some of the slack, whereas the small guys stay a bit smaller, uh, staying a bit more constant. You can see a big increase in small contractors from, 20, from about 16, 17% to just under 40%, really doubling, doubling their market share over four or five years or so. It's quite, quite significant. Um, obviously, we've seen the, the, the higher end of the sector has uh, really felt the, the worst of the, of the pain of the last few years. We've seen Basil Reed into Business Rescue. We've seen a, a, a number of the other bigger contractors, not listed, but the big grade nine uh, contractors also go into Business Rescue, close their doors, um, become insolvent. Uh, Basil Reed may be the first casualty. Uh, the share prices, the, the shares are currently be suspended. Um, the share price is currently four cents. Uh, from you know 30, 30 rand or so at their peak, um, they couldn't get bridging finance. They needed to keep operating, um, and they say, but they do say they're close to securing finance to keep operating. We'll have to wait and see. Um, Avenge could be next potentially. Their share price is also 10 cents or so, um, also from above 30, 40 rand. Um, so as I mentioned, the listed contract is really feeling the pain. Um, this is now the JSE, the total JSE versus the nine, uh, a weighted average of the nine listed contractors. And I think this tells the whole story. Um, this is from 2007 year, we had the financial crisis year. And you can see the JSE performed fantastically from 2009 until about 2014. It's been a bit flat of late. But you can see that the listed construction sector in total, if you look at the nine listed contractors, they've lost roughly 70% of their market value in nominal terms over the last 10 years. So that's extremely significant. And they felt the worst of the pain at the high end of the sector. Um, so why is this happening? Um, one reason is that the overall sector is is in you know somewhat disarray, uh, as I as I showed recessionary levels. Um, it started with the collusion, loss of trust with government, for example. Um, transformation plays quite a big role. Uh, government wasn't happy with the rate at which transformation was happening. This meant they were breaking up those big projects into smaller pieces so they could award it to smaller contractors, which explains why the smaller contractors and the medium-sized contractors are taking the biggest share of the overall pie. Um, in my opinion, a lot of these companies are just at overcapacity to, to a large degree. A lot of them, I think, were slow to restructure, to focus on the efficiencies. Um, that could be, could be part of the story, not for all of them, for just for, 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 for a few. Um, government's financial position obviously plays a big role. This has to do with the consolidation of their budget. Um, and in my opinion, maybe there are just too many listed construction companies. If you look at other emerging markets and even advanced economies, we have nine listed construction companies. That's very high. Um, there are only three in China, for example, two in Brazil, five in Turkey. Australia only has four listed construction companies. It's not looking good for the high end of the sector. The companies that have done well your WBHOs, I mean, majority of the revenue is coming from outside of South Africa now. Um, I think Marion Roberts were quite smart to sell the infrastructure business a year or so ago, whenever it was. I think they foresaw that, you know, the economy was entering quite tough times. Um, but I mean, it's not all doom and gloom. As a, as a supplier, this just means that you're gonna have different clients now, for example. Um, you know, Basil Reed may longer not be a client anymore, or Avenge, or the likes of Esau, for example. Um, may have to focus on the emerging contractors, you know, focus on different markets.